Okay, this is my honey extraction area. It's in my family room. So over here I have some honey supers waiting for extraction. And I've got a 4x8 sheet of plywood lying on the ground. Covered with paper towels to absorb the any spilt honey. This is my uncapping uh, bin. And then up here is, I've got three buckets over here. Waiting uh, to go under the extractor. Uh, with three filters there. And there's the honey extractor. You can see how I've bolted it to the boards and the boards are screwed to the plywood. And up at the top of that is my honey extractor. With my new motor I put on there. Okay, so this is my hot knife, and if it's hot, it should slice right up here. I've done both uh, from the bottom towards the top, and from the top towards the bottom. And I find it works a little better if you go from the bottom up, because it, it pulls the wax away across the top of the knife and when you go from the top down it tends to tear uh, as it falls away. It tends to tear open the cells and the bees have a lot more uh, work to repair the cell. And that's that one. And then what I do here is just a little bit here. I'll just catch it with the end. Clean that up. All right, now flip it around. And do the, the, what, uh, the knife was not really hot when I started, so this side should go a little better. Maybe not. Oh, you gotta thank all those ladies. That looks lovely. Okay, my honey spinner is spinning. And it looks pretty good. I'm gonna increase the speed here a little bit. How's your arm? <laughs> now, let's see, I'm gonna zoom in here. And you can just see along the edges, the honey's getting flung out to the outside. Zoom back out. All right. It looks nice and uh, stable. So we're going to increase it a little bit. Wow, it looks like um, it won't show up on the video. It reminds me of a cotton candy machine where it's throwing out the honey in little strands. And it looks like my stabilization bars are working really good. It looks like this is staying really nice. Okay, we're gonna leave that run for a while. Okay, we sped it up a little bit and more honey's coming out, but here's the money shot. Look at all that beautiful honey.
Okay, this has worked much better doing it with the motor than hand cranked. It's much more uniform. And, uh, boy, there is nothing left in these. The bees are going to love that. It didn't damage the cells at all. They're going to they're gonna have a wonderful time. So it's very even. You can see none of them flip to the side. These little bars worked fantastic holding these from flipping around. Uh, it stayed much more balanced too. So if you have one of these I'd recommend that change. You can turn it off now. Okay one other thing I didn't point out but there's a bucket of water here and it's really nice to have a bucket of water next to where you're working on all this stuff because your hands are constantly getting uh, sticky and after a while you can only lick off so much honey off your fingers you need a little water here are the bees cleaning up my wax cappings from the uh, honey extraction process. They will clean just about every bit of honey off of that and you'll end up with almost wax with uh, no sticky in it. Over here I have my newspapers that were laid down on the ground underneath my uh, buckets and stuff. I had, found out I had one honey gate with a leak so dropped a whole bunch of honey probably about a cup of honey leaked out before I caught it. Here's my uh, uncapping roller that they're cleaning up for me. My uncapping knife Uh, one of my filters, strainers you could call it, and the spinner itself which is, let's see if I can get in there, almost, Got bees in my hair. Okay, almost completely clean. So they do a wonderful job of cleaning. Just about dropped that one, full of bees. Caught it with my hand. So by tomorrow, there won't be any honey left. I'll have very little to clean up. Here's one of my buckets they're cleaning up. <laughs>